Hello music producers and welcome to CEO Nation Z. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create boss channels in the mixer within FL Studio. Alright, so there are so many reasons and advantages of creating and using boss channels in FL Studio. But first of all, let me show you how to create the boss channels within FL Studio. Alright, so as you can see here, we just have a simple drum loop going on right here. And um, each individual instrument has its own separate channel on the mixer. But what the boss channel does is that it actually brings all the separate instruments into one channel. And then from that one channel, it takes it directly to the master. And the way this works is that all you need to do is just you select all the channels that you want to um you want to bring together and this it doesn't just work for only drums it can work for anything it can work for guitars a group of guitars it can work for a group of um synths it can work for anything that you want to just group together that's what you select together so to select this you hold shift and control and shift and then you can now then click on each of the instruments all right so as this is done you go over to an empty channel on the mixer as you can see this um channel seven is empty and you can see this arrow down here you right click and then you check check on route to this track only so let's click on that and then what you notice is that before this um green line down was leading straight to the master as others are like if i go to other channels on the mixer you can see that the green line is leading to the master but right now it is no longer leading to the master as it is now leading to this um channel seven right here so you can see all these are leading to the channel 7 and then from channel 7 is now leading to master. Now if I'm to play it, there's actually no difference. But what you notice is that this channel 7 is now reading some information and that is from all the drum channels right here. So please, so as you can see now this is actually very very useful because right now what you can do is that you can just let's say if you want to add like a group of effects just the drum only you don't need to start going into the individual um instruments and making the effects there all you need to do is just affect just this channel seven right here so for example let's say we want to create like a fade in like we want our drums to fade in instead of us going to the individual tracks and start doing that effect one by one we can just affect just this boss channel right here and it affects all the whole drums for example let's just create an automation clip right here okay so just a simple fade in and you notice that the drum and all the whole drums fade in at once so as you can see that is just amazing and there are a lot of uses for this and not just for the grouping of the thing but for also the arrangement and the the arrangement of your works and your project it just makes everything look organized the way you group things into one because and it's also easier for mixing stages because instead of like i said before instead of applying the effects to all the individual tracks you can just apply it as a group to just this boss channel alone and that will be it for this video guys hope you learned a lot from this video please if you aren't subscribed to this channel please do hit the subscribe button and enable notifications so that you'll be notified when i upload new videos just like this for you till we meet again stay safe guys and see you in the next one